Okay, uh, here's my pickups for today. Uh, this represents about $102 in spending with me. I'm not really cr happy with um, my findings for today. Uh, my wife did get jewelry. I got for any, barely anything that I, I'm, I'm looking for to resell, um, which would include uh, video games, uh, CDs or DVDs, and then, then other stuff. But um, mostly we did get jewelry, and then I got some perfumes. Uh, the perfumes weren't even an especially great deal, I don't think, on my part. I'm not sure. I'll have to check them. Um, yeah, it looks like I spent about maybe 65 on jewelry. So let me just go through everything, and then I'll go to the jewelry. Uh, this was uh, cheap. Uh, this is Blanco. Blanco pinched their stuff at the top. Um, I think they're called pinched uh, glass vases. I don't see anything wrong with it. And uh, for three dollars, I imagine I'm going to get anywhere from ten to twenty for it. Uh, not sure yet. Uh, I wouldn't list it on eBay unless it was worth about like forty, uh, because it'd be a lot of work, and then shipping would eat up in the fees. Um, so, but I know that is blanco. Uh, this I bought for myself. I uh, thought it was a different artist, glass artist. Um, there's a guy named Eichholt that I like, and I had some of his stuff, and I sold it, and then I regretted selling it. Uh, so I bought this because it looked like him, but it's, I don't think it is. It's somebody named Del something. Del Blech. It begins with an M. Uh, I'll check it out, but it doesn't really matter. I paid 20 It's for me. Um, I think that's a fair price. I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, it's like, okay, whatever. I'll check that later. Maybe it has a couple surface scratches. I don't really care. Uh, let's see. Uh, perfumes. I got this monogram by Ralph Lauren. It's a cologne spray. Uh, I bought these two for 15 um, This one's not full, but I think anything Ra Ralph Lauren should be good. And if, if they're not making it, then it, you know, it's pretty full. You know, and it's not a small size. Uh, 1.8 fluid ounces. If they're not making it anymore, it should easily pay for the two. This Kenneth Cole reaction was part of the deal. This isn't full either, but this Kenneth Cole reaction doesn't sell for much on eBay. Uh, but I have another half bottle, and I'm going to lot them together to bump up the price and be able to sell them at all. Um, I bought a small bottle of Chanel. It's like a half fluid ounce, number five. It was five bucks. I could, you know, I could probably sell it for twenty or something. I don't really know, um, but it is Chanel. It is no, uh, Chanel number five. Worst case scenario for my five bucks, I lot it with something else and I bump up the value that way. Uh, in terms of jewelry, which is pretty much everything else we got today, um, we went to two, two sales. Well, we went to like 10 sales and this is all we got. And um, I might show a little video of, of me looking at how expensive jewelry is getting at these sales, especially the estate sales where it's like the, their prices are, are nonsense. You know, if it's got a name on it, it's, it's an insane price. Like as much as three times as much uh, as I can get sometimes. But um, this is nice. It has like a little uh, cloisonne ball, and I'm not sure the name of that stone. I don't know if it's a venturine or whatever, um, but it was eight, and this was at like a charity sale for a bank. Um, this is like a native beaded uh, necklace, and uh, it does have leather on the inside, so it's a little older. I'm not sure what that was. I think we spent like 22 for this jewelry, so... Um, this is the same as this thing. It was two dollars. It's a bracelet. If she gets five or eight or six or seven or whatever, it's we'll get more than two. They're glass. I don't believe they're by anyone special. Just a nice, um, feels like plastic. Just a nice looking necklace. Uh, if she got it for a few dollars, maybe three dollars, she'll probably sell it for eight or so. Um, this is probably silver. That's probably she bought it. It looks like silver. It was a dollar. She can sell it for eight to ten. Uh, it looks like silver. Pay two dollars, sell for eight to ten. Oh, and here's the same bracelet again as this one. Uh, two dollars. I'm assuming she thinks she's going to get from five to to eight on those. Uh, at another sale, we bought this group of jewelry. Uh, one piece that was in it broke, um, and we're, it's possibly a repair. But I don't have it here because uh, my wife was looking at it. So for a say twenties ish, we got all this stuff here. Apparently, this is coro. Uh, I don't um, believe that'll make it especially valuable. But it is nice and colorful. Um, so you'll probably get 10 in the $10 range. Here's just a, a nice flower pen with a satin metallic finish. Probably $8 we'll get. Um, don't see a name on this. Oh, wait, it does. Uh, Monet. Monet is always good. She'll probably get 8 to 12. Um, this is unusual. Uh, we do see a lot of these um, 
uh, made in Italy. This one isn't doesn't say anything. I don't see. But these are called uh, micro mosaic pins. Um, what she liked about this one was it was in the shape of a horseshoe. Uh, it's probably worth ten to fifteen. Um, she's been looking for brass cuff bracelets. Uh, here's one. I don't know where this is made. It is lacquered. Uh, let's see. It does have a name on it. It'd be nice if it was like Roycroft, but it is <laughs> uh, Coppercraft. Uh, so it's kind of old. Uh, she'll probably get 10 for that. She's been buying cufflinks. Um, we, people like cufflinks lately. She'll probably get 5 or so for those. Uh, nice pin. And again, it's another Monet. She'll probably get 6 to 10 for that. This looks old. It is not uh, Sweet Romance uh, USA. She must have just liked it because it appears to be a locket of some sort. She'll probably get, um, I don't know, 10 or so for that. Um, these, this is glass faceted. Um, I see some nicks and stuff, but it doesn't really matter. It's a pretty little necklace. If she gets 10 or so, that's fine. Um, we don't really get a lot for the jewelry we sell because we do sell at flea markets. And um, we sell to dealers or just people that don't have a lot of money. Um, so <clears throat> they like the prices to be low. Um, I know she paid 10 for this, but she liked it because it's kind of like the moon and all its phases. Uh, it's, it's silver. And um, it doesn't contain a lot of silver. We didn't buy it because of the weight. Um, but she paid 10 I, I guess she figured she's going to get between 15 and 20 at least. Um, that covers everything. Uh, everything that I got today. Uh, tomorrow the town wides are starting. Hopefully I will come and the table will be filled and I'll have stuff around the table and tons of stuff. And, and, and instead of paying 100 for like this much stuff, I'll pay 100 for this much stuff. Anyway, that's it for today.